Hi guys, I'm at Pender Pines um, Nature, I don't know what this is, Garden Center I think, and I found these fun little emus um, at the back of our center. Emus are one of the very largest birds in North America. I'm not sure if they're native or not. I will look that up. Um, they have some very interesting feathers. They almost look like um, like patchwork when you are making a thatch roof and you're layering leaves on top of leaves. That's kind of what those um, kind of what their feathers look like. Some other interesting things that I learned is that um, when they lay their eggs, they, um, unlike normal birds, the where the females would sit on them, it's actually the male's job to sit on top of an emu's egg, which is kind of interesting. Kind of reminds me of penguins. If you've ever seen like Happy Feet or any of those movies, you'll know that that is very similar to how they take care of their young as well. Um, and then female emus can weigh can lay 20 to 50 eggs in a year, which is crazy. That is a lot of babies, a lot of baby emus. Um, and then another really weird fact is that the eggs aren't white like chicken eggs. They're actually a dark green. Let's see if I show you. So goofy looking. But that's my adventure with the emus. I'm gonna go look for some other animals and some other plants. Hi guys, so some flora that we're going to be pointing out today um, that I would actually love for you to get out of your house and maybe take a walk around your neighborhood or around your street or even um, ride around because these are in bloom and they are azaleas. So I'm sure you have seen these flowers blooming up all over the place. Um, there are pink varieties, there are some light pink varieties over here some more purple varieties. I think I've even seen blue varieties. Um, and the reason why you see all of these is that they are the North American azaleas. They're a part of the rhododendron family. Um, and I'm sure you've seen some rhododendrons before, the brightly colored big bushel flowers. Um, and they bloom in the spring. There are so many azaleas in Wilmington that we actually have an azalea festival that should be coming up in the next couple of weeks. I highly doubt any of those festivities are happening, um, but Wilmington, North Carolina is one of the places that helps celebrate this plant. And you have seen it bloom all over probably your neighborhood, all over the cities and towns where you have maybe ridden along with your family. There's a butterfly over here, I keep looking at it. Um, azaleas are super pretty, but they also are very toxic. I'm not sure which part of them are toxic and if they're necessarily toxic to humans or just to animals who would munch on this plant. Um, but a fun fact about that is back in hundreds of years ago, if you received a bouquet of azaleas from like a friend in a black vase, that was the equivalent of a death threat because they were that poisonous to humans. Kind of interesting. Um, but what I want you to do is I want you to get out of the house, see if you can find some azaleas, take some pictures. Um, if you have a different device, you can take pictures on that. If you have um, your computer, you can actually take pictures on your computer. You just got to carry it around, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, but I want to see how many different varieties of azaleas that we can find. I have found a really pink kind, a light pink, and more of a purpley kind. See what else you can find out there. Gosh, I need this or this one. This 
decisions, decisions. $500. Definitely that 